Hey everybody, I'm Dees. Welcome back to my workshop. That's where we're at. The Today's little project is going to be to revisit this no-spill oil container. The last one I did uh, was in my Messing in the Shop episode 4 series. It was a fail. Um, it can, it'll hold oil, but if I dump this over, it'll clearly cause a mess. So, we're going to redo this, but I'm going to epoxy the top. So, same concept where I'm going to cut the top of this off, invert it, um, and then I'm going to use some epoxy to glue it in so that it's oil tight and nothing can come out of it. And that's how we're going to tackle this. Again, this is temporary. I don't want this to be my permanent solution. I just don't want to tear into that big chunk of aluminum I have and ruin it. So that's just a quick intro to this video. Um, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Well, as I said, uh, we're going to recreate this oil container, but this time the, the melting, I thought the melting of the plastic would fuse it together, but that's not the type of plastic that this is. It is pretty rigid and firm, but it melts very easy. So it just turned to mush and there was no way to really fuse those together. So let's get this one out of the way. This is going to be our new workpiece. And again, same concept. I just want to make sure, you know, we get this how we want it. So I'm going to cut this off again. I'm going to get it down in there as best I can. And then what we're going to do is glue it. Um, and then maybe I'll come back and sand off the excess, but I want to make sure I glue it and let time, you know, I'm not going to glue it, I'm going to epoxy and then give it time to let all that set. So I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and get that cut off and then I'll bring you right back. All right, so we got this cut. It's not perfect. It, it really doesn't matter. All I want to do is have enough material to glue that on there and then I'll come back and trim it up a little bit later but I do want to sand some of these parts and I need to rough it up in order to let that epoxy adhere. need to get the inside of this and the outside of that. It's, there's not going to be a lot, but the glue is going to hopefully pool up and seal. So what I need to do is rough this up on the inside and the outside. Let me get a different piece of sandpaper. I'll bring you right back. All right, got another piece of sandpaper. Let's keep going here. All right, that'll do. That'll give a couple edges to to marry up. So we'll get some glue in there and then we'll get that epoxy. I'm gonna go blow this out, clean it out, and then we'll continue on. Here's the plan. We are, we've got our workpiece ready to go. The, the height, just fine. That's where I want it to be. Um, really, it's all about getting the seal uh, between the top portion and this lip so that when, if, if and when it ever falls over, that oil will not seep out through these two 
co uh, connections here. So we're just going to epoxy it. I think what I'm going to do is put some tape over the top and then I'm going to I want to store it upside down to let that epoxy run all all throughout uh, that joint and hopefully it will seal up. I'm going to use more than maybe I should. Um, I'm going to sand this a little bit more. I can tell that maybe maybe it'll be a little higher than I want than I was originally thinking. I want to give it the best shot I can. So let me go do that real quick. And then what we'll do is get our epoxy going and we'll get this thing glued up. Like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to use a decent amount of epoxy for this because I want it to stick um, just temporarily. I, I need something to hold this oil. So Let's see if we can't get that. There we go. That ought to be enough, you'd think. Oops. Okay, let's get to mixing. Get it all in there. Like I said, I want to use it all. I should probably just get it on the outside of this one as well. Just so it's started to adhere. So it's got something to work with. Yeah, so we got it on there. Let's get our mess that we're spilling. Get back in there. And then we put this in here, but we want to turn it upside down. Maybe we won't need to tape it, I'll just put something heavy on top of it. A little bit of irony. We're going to use the no spill oil can I think that's going to work. We'll use the no spill oil can block of aluminum to make the no spill, temporary no spill oil can. <laughs> anyway, let's see what that does. Um, it's got epoxy all around it. I think that's going to seal up. At this point, we don't need tape. We'll just use that. Um, let's see where this goes. All right, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the end of this temporary no spill oil can for my cutting fluid chip on galling stuff. It's basically the oil kerosene mix. As you recall, the first attempt, I thought I could melt it together and it would make a nice oil tight seal. Here's the fail, but that did not work. Um, if, if this falls over, oil will be everywhere. Plus, I filled it too full, but that's just because I needed to put the oil somewhere. That My intention was not to fill it this full. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So, this time, I went with the same concept with the plastic. Cut the top off. And I put in an excessive amount of epoxy 
made the top part bigger than the, the bottom where it marries in, put it upside down, and I let that epoxy settle down inside that portion where the two halves meet and create, hopefully, what's an oil-tight seal. Now, I think at this point, I'm ready to fill it. Um, you know, you don't need a whole lot with cutting fluid, but I'm going to fill it up just below the, the nozzle portion of this. And then we're going to test it out and see if we make a mess. So, there we go. And if this ends up working, there you go. Simple, simple solution. I know there's a handful out there to, of, of ideas of making these things. You can get really elaborate, make your own. I'm going to do that someday. Um, I think Abe's got one out there. If you Google and just search YouTube, you'll find a few. Some made out of beer cans or aluminum cans. Um, people buy these child's play paint cups that are no spill. And then there's some brand that there's only one brand that makes them professionally for oil or no spill. I don't know. They're red or blue tops. It's kind of weird. It's a weird, it's, it's almost weird. Maybe, maybe I need to start making something because this seems like a, a niche here. There's hardly any of these for purchase at retail, especially, you know, the home machinist who says, you know what? I want a really cool metal no spill container, but they, they're not ready to make one. You can't buy one. I know people will say, well, I've used a half a beer can or a half a, a coffee can for years. Well, the whole idea, though, is I don't want this to spill. Uh, I've already, I have spilled oil out of a container in here, and it makes a big mess, and you're scrambling to clean it up. I don't want to do that. So, I've already got some oil from some other project in here. Let's uh, put that there. You should be able to see that. And we're going to dump in... Just enough in there to, to test this out. You know, right in something like that. So, there we go. As you can see, I've got just enough in there. I don't know if that's too much. Maybe that'll spill. But let's give this a shot. Uh, Well, I had too much in there. Well, this is fail number two. <laughs> yeah. So, what I've discovered, the hole, the, the mouth in this thing is too big. Because when I knocked it over, it just all came right out. And you can even dump it out. You basically need to have very little, which which would be fine, I think. I don't you don't need much cutting fluid, but if I want this thing to be no spill, you're I'm only going to be able to put that much oil in this thing. There, proof of concept that does work, but uh, I can't keep much oil in this container, which is probably fine for cutting fluid. Um, so I'll just make sure that I don't fill it up past that bottom line there. Um, but I was really hoping that'd be a little more successful than that. I suppose maybe this could be up farther, but I think the, the nozzle needs to be smaller. Maybe I'll find another bottle and try another attempt at this and see if we can continue to make improvements. But for now, I'll call this usable failure number two. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.